Happy holidays, everyone! So 2024 is around, right around the corner, and with banking news out of China, it made me think, who might surprise to the upside? We all know that lower deposit rate is a boon for banks, but bad for consumers, as it costs them less to hold the deposits. We also know that once a bank lowers rates, there tends to be a lag between where we s a lag between the uh, deposit rates coming down versus the lending rate going down. Hence, we'll see a temporary compression of net interest income, especially important as mortgage will be repriced in January and most likely to see a 0.1% drop in interest rates as the LPR drop year over year. Uh, as a background in China, most loans are uh, floating and subject to the LPR rate. So who will benefit the most in this round of rate adjustments? Let's take a look at China Merchant Bank and Postal Savings Bank of China, two banks that we talked about in this channel. If we turn to page 198 on China Merchant Bank Interim Report, we'll find that the amount that CMB has to repay to its customers, this repayment we can think of as when consumer deposit comes due, and it's likely that they'll reinvest the proceeds. Hence, we can see how much repricing of deposits will occur. The ratio of deposit coming due in the next 3 to 12 months from October 2023 to June 2024, CMB will be repricing 23% of its deposits, of which 13% deposit, will have not been reported given now that it's past Q3. The same exercise if we do it for the Polo Savings Bank of China, we'll see that 59% of deposits will be repriced, of which 47% has not been reported. Hence, we can see uh, or we can expect that PSBC's net interest margin to outperform CNBC and um, its peers, and most likely surprise to the upside in Q1, Q2. As holiday present, I've done the exercise for a lot of the major banks in China. I hope that this will help you do an industry comparison, uh, especially if you own a different bank, to see how much will be repriced and see what the impact on net interest margin will be for your bank. Cheers, and have a great 2024 uh, forward and the rest of 2023. Bye-bye.